Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Give double honors to the elders of Israel who are the elders of GMS. And salutations to you brothers out there on the highways and byways pushing this truth and all righteousness and sincerity. Um, this video is just going to be real quick. It's going to be my testimony on the power of the name Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Um, when I first got into the truth a couple years ago, I had a dream where I was running from I was running from some people. And those people were, it was the Eagles football team. And if you're spiritual, you understand that the Eagles would represent America, you know, Babylon. That's that's their symbol. <clears throat> so I was running from them and they finally caught up to me in some room. It was like just a just a random room. And they had me backed into a corner. So as they were coming towards me, I started calling on the name. Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, can you please save me? Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, can you please save me? I just kept saying that multiple times. And as I was saying that, somebody stepped up in front of me to protect me, to shield me. And that person that, that did that was by a player that used to play for the Eagles by the name of Lido Shepard. Okay? He was a cornerback, if you know anything about football. And um, what is what is that? You know, if we're spiritual, we understand. Shepherd, who was our shepherd? That's your Howard Shai. Okay? He stepped in front of me to shield me, to protect me. Okay? And then when that happened, they all started crying and, and kneeled down to the floor asking for forgiveness. Okay? They all backed. They they didn't. They were they were about to attack me, but as soon as that happened, they they backed away. They kneeled down. They got on the floor just crying, asking for forgiveness. Even in the dream, I started crying. You know, and then soon as I woke up, I got the dream right away. I was like, oh, shit. You know, the, the Eagles, America, Shepard, Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? It's like that That was, that was, that dream right there solidified it for me personally. That That's that's a very spiritual dream in my opinion. It might seem simple if you're being simple, but that's that's too much. That's, that's too much of an intricate plot for it to be a coincidence. You know, and that, that dream... It happened years ago, but that still, that's that still touches me personally. You know, I'm not a person. I'm not a brother. I don't get that many dreams like certain other brothers. But I, I personally, I don't need them because that dream right there solidified it for me. Maybe that's all that I needed. That was my blessing right there. You know. Um, let's get a quick scripture real quick. Proverbs eighteen and ten: The name of the Lord is a strong tower; the righteous runneth into it and is safe. Okay. That's what happened in my dream. That's the only thing I was able to run to. That's all I had was that name. And when I truly believed in that name, so as I started calling it out, what happened? I, I got I got saved. I got protected. I got shielded, okay, from, from harm that was about to come to me. So this this name is real. Forget what all these these other these other camps talking about the name don't mean anything. That's BS, man. This name is real. And and that dream for me was my it's it solidified it for me. And I carry that until till we out of here. You know? So um like I said, it was a, something quick. I hopefully that was a motivation to you brothers brothers and sisters out there that this that this name is very real, you know. we and we're almost out of here, so just keep just keep praising upon it and it, it will bring you beautiful things, you know, if you truly believe. So with that, shalom.